Hello, welcome back to Blessing for Life Designs. Here's part three for the sublimation on cotton. So what I'm going to do now is, as you see, I have sublimated, because this is darker, so I sublimate this on cotton also. So I'm going to use this instead of the other one, because this one is much, came out much darker. Okay, so I'm going to wash this, then I'm going to throw it in the dryer. Then give it another week or so, wash it again, throw it in the dryer, and see what's the end result on this is. This is just a piece of fabric, cotton, that I um, subbed on. Okay, but the colors are popping out. Okay, but I did notice... Um, when I did, I don't know, because it was so thin, that it was a lot of ink on the back when I um, when I picked it up, untaped it, and when I picked it up on my parchment paper, it was a lot of ink. It had bleed through, but it's still a lot of ink. Um, so I don't know if that's what they're talking about, but I did notice um, what I did today was... I subbed on polyester. Check it out. I did sublimate on a tank top today. And this is what I subbed. And it wasn't no bleeding because I put parchment paper under inside the tank top. So I did sub this today. And it turned out really nice and this is polyester this is a tank top see this is a tank top okay this is polyester um what is it 80 percent polyester and i think 20 20 percent um spandex but it is polyester and it do it is popping okay all right all right, so this is what I'm doing. I'm taking this, like this, running the water over it. Oh my goodness, ooh. Look, it really looks nice, it's wet. It's wet. to the checkup but you can't I, I don't know you can't really see right there nice it's wet so we're gonna see I'm gonna see so I can I can sub on here so I'm gonna see I'm putting this on here I'm gonna put the detergent and then I'm just gonna run the water I'm just gonna wash it real good I'm not gonna because it's not a load, so I'm not gonna um, do it like that. I'm just gonna put some soap on it. There's nothing bleeding in my hands or anything, so you can tell that it's inside of the the physical fabric. You can tell that much. So. <laughs> but if soap and water hit it. And if I throw it in the dryer, just for a little bit, if it's going to fade, it's going to fade. So we'll see. I'll put a little bit more soap on it. It still looked the same to me. So we'll see. You know, people, um, I find out, you know, when you, 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 you know, when things, what I'm trying to say is people will tell you the untruth to to make you buy their items. And I'm just trying to if I'm like I said, if I don't have to spend a lot of money, I'm not gonna spend a lot of money. But if I have to, I will. But I wanna try to make sure to make sure before I go out here and buy, before I go out here and buy this stuff, okay. 
my polyester shirts and all that. That's very reasonable. Very reasonable. Like I said, I'm scrubbing real good. I'm scrubbing. Let's see what's going to happen. And then I'm going to throw it in a dryer. I don't see any any color bleed at all. I don't see any color bleed at all. It's not on my hands. You know, usually when color bleed, when you wash stuff, it's, it's bleeding. It's going to be bleeding. I don't see any any difference. I don't see any difference. So I have to try. And I'm going to try different cottons. I'm going to try something. Um, maybe. It, I'm going to try different ones and see. But right now. This right here. Okay. So. I'm going to rinse it again. Make sure all the soap is out. And I scrubbed it real good. Let's see what's going on with it in the dryer. It's in the dryer. Let's see. <clears throat> okay, it's out the dryer now. Hold on. Let's see here. Uh-oh. Yeah, well. Uh, yeah, it went into the dryer. It is, to me now, it's a little dingy. It don't look dingy on a on film. But I can tell the difference. I can tell the difference. Hmm. Yeah, it did. It faded. It faded. Yep, it's not bright as it was. All right, so I rinsed it off again because I think I put a little bit too much soap on there. I'm in a little fabric that I have. So. I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to iron it. So part four, we'll see how, if it became dingy or what's going on, but I'm going to have to iron it after it come out. Okay, so you have a good one. God bless, and stay tuned for part four.